Hello guys, this is Ram, co-founder of Mad Over Insurance. People say we eat, think, sleep and talk only insurance. So we are bringing you stories on insurance, customer experiences and customers issues on insurances. Please follow our YouTube channel Mad Over Insurance and also follow us on social platforms Instagram, Facebook and LinkedIn. Hello sir. Hi Ram, how are you? All well sir. Sir, I have uh, one issue. Right. So, one of my friend bought a new car right. in Chandigarh. Right. So, he lives in Mumbai, but there is no vehicle availability in Mumbai showroom. Okay. So, he bought a Kia Seltos in Chandigarh. Right. He ordered a transporter from Chandigarh to bring the vehicle to Mumbai. Right. So he spoke to the transporter through an online platform. Right. He paid the transport charges. Right. So the transporter collected the vehicle at Chandigarh showroom. Right. And after three days, yeah. for first three days, the uh, um, I mean this uh, transporter was giving all the information. Right. Like it is on the way. It, this is the tracking, all that. From third day, completely this transporter's phones were switched off. The website is not working, and there is no such company is what my friend found. Right. In this case, he already have an insurance from an insurance company at the I time of vehicle delivery. That is the motor insurance. Motor insurance. Right. He took the motor insurance for the vehicle. Right. But the insurance company now says it is not covered under insurance. Right. So how do we solve this case? In most such cases, uh, the general stand of the insurance company has been that the motor policy covers burglary. Okay. It covers theft. It covers housebreaking. Okay. These are the three covers that are available, which are related to this. Okay. The most nearest is theft. Okay. To the case that you mentioned. But insurance companies call it a criminal breach of trust. Yes. And they say criminal breach of trust is not covered. Okay. Uh, I cannot say it's a similar example or a exactly same situation. But recently, the National Consumer Court okay. uh, passed a judgment in respect of a case wherein a owner gave the keys of the vehicle to the driver. The driver took away the car okay. and went away. Oh. So again, the insurance company declined that claim. They say, because you actually trusted your driver, hmm given it and he has broken your trust it's a criminal breach of trust criminal breach of trust is not payable and hence insurance company denied that claim so this is not considered as theft claim they don't say it's it is neither theft okay they say it's not burglary because there's no forcible entry or exit okay there was no force involved so fundamentally they say it's a criminal breach of trust not payable okay so this claim was denied then that consumer went to the consumer court at the national consumer court level what you call as the national consumer disputes redressal commission okay a judgment was passed what ncdrc said is that in this claim the insurance company has to pay okay so they cannot escape from calling it as a criminal breach of trust what your friend can do is try to reason out with the insurance company quoting this specific case and see whether they will see the logic because if you look at it from a customer perspective what is his mistake yes absolutely no mistake from his side he believed somebody and they have broken that trust it's as good as a theft yes so in case he is not getting any positive response from the insurance company one possibility is he approaches the regulator okay gives quotes this particular decision and asks for the regulator's intervention or maybe go into the consumer court quoting a similar condition okay. or similar uh, case law and trying is uh, trying out in terms of this particular case okay so that should be the way forward as far as your claim is uh, your friend is concerned 
but it's a very very common uh, thing that lot of uh, uh, motor insurance buyers are facing is even when there's a theft by a driver hmm. uh, most insurance companies are not entertaining those claims okay so if he takes any marine insurance for the transit Correct. so yeah. will that be covered in this case in such cases uh in this specific case he i think he didn't take the marine insurance take the marine and case. motor insurance was enough as far okay. as uh, uh, this was uh, this case was concerned okay but i would presume as far as marine insurance concerned if the same was covered under marine insurance because it was transported in a vehicle the marine insurance would have paid okay uh, but uh, logically normally because motor insurance already covers it okay uh, so normally people not, do not necessarily need to buy a marine insurance okay. in this specific case okay. fine sir thank, thank you thank you thank you ram